evening once again. I'm Andy Styles bringing you the 10 o'clock news summary. Namibia has become the first country in Africa to launch a stroke prevention breakthrough therapy. This means that Namibians will now benefit from a treatment known as Pradoxa, which prevents the formation of blood clots causing strokes. This follows Namibia's registration with one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in the world, the German-based Bullinger Ingelheim Company, to supply the drugs. Five new ambassadors to Namibia presented copies of their letters of credence to Foreign Affairs Minister Utoni Nioma yesterday. Nioma said this proved that Namibia was continuously strengthening and expanding its foreign relations. He added that the upgrading of the Venezuelan charged affair office to an embassy also showed the growing relationship between the two countries. The new ambassadors and high commissioners are from Venezuela, Belgium, Seychelles, United Kingdom and Swaziland. In business news, the Namibia Standards Institution, NSI, has established additional technical committees to assist with drafting the proposed standards in the, spe in the uh, specific sectors. The committees consist of people with expertise in various sectors such as construction, halal, occupation, health and safety management. The new technical committees were taken through some basic activities which they are expected uh, to undertake by the NSI. In international news, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez yesterday uh, read excerpts of a letter sent to him by Libya's Muammar Gaddafi expressing gratitude for strong support during the NATO-backed rebellion against his government. Chavez only read parts of the message which was handed to his foreign minister in Caracas by Libyan finance minister. It was not immediately clear why such a high-level official had to deliver the letter. Vintuk is to host an international boxing bonanza tomorrow evening. The event will take place at the Vintuk Country Club Resort and Casino under the auspices of the Nestor Tobias Boxing and Fitness Academy. According to the driving force behind the midweek event, Nestor Tobias, the stage is set for the half past six kickoff tomorrow evening. The main attraction will be the international bantamweight bout over 10 rounds between his, uh, his future prospect, Emmanuel Prince Nainjala, and Zimbabwean rookie boxer, Ntando Sibanda. Both took the scale at 53,4 kilograms. And that's all from us tonight. Pleasant viewing further on.